Welcome back to Satellite Rain. So last time, I got a mission to... Oh, he's gone. Cool, on the reload, that guy's gone. I'll have to take that mission again. So I got a mission to escort a guy into the Eternals HQ. But there's just way too many guys nosing around the entrance I wanted to go through to make that a reality. So I decided to do a different mission and wound up sneaking into their initiation center and got a bunch of goodies. So let's let's take another mission in there. Um, well, I suppose, what are these stairs? Jammer, oh. Jammer's uncool. Eternal's Temple is going to be a problem, but that might be the mission I do next. Black Market Dealer got anything uh, interesting? Nothing I really want. Alright. So he wants to get into the administrative office, so I'll have two missions to get there. Let's try it again. And hopefully there aren't going to be 20 guards moseying right around the entrance this time. Because that was kind of a bummer. So I gotta pick him up again. So let's give this another shot. First things first, disable the cameras. And I'm going to take over the sentry gun. running again. This is going to take too long. Great, now there's going to be 20 dudes over here again. Maybe I shouldn't have uh, hacked this camera. Maybe that's what set them off. I don't even know what cameras that ha that got. Crap, he saw me. That's all right, I can get away. 
Shit, there's another guard, guard right there. Ah, oh, come on! You know what? Fuck it, I'm destroying this thing. Escaped that. Let's get back. <laughs> this guy's stuck up against this. <laughs> what are you doing, man? What are, what are you doing? Alright, the sentry gun has been taken over. get a lot of time unfortunately so many guys around there I might have to just take the whole team and do this guns blazing I'm gonna need to get my infiltrator in there first and disable the cameras that's what I'm gonna do This guy with his laser minigun. He thinks he's a badass, and with that gun, he is, so. These guys mo nosing around here, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. These guys are all up here. Does my hacker still have the stealth module? Yes. Oh, 
crap, I'm so screwed. Oh, here we go, this shit again. What is that guy shooting at? I'm long gone. Time to get him in there. Gonna have to have my infiltrator open it from the inside, I guess. It's just like all these assholes in it right there. There's no way I can get this guy in. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna do the other mission. The one where I'm just getting this stuff. We'll, we'll smuggle in him some other time. It's just way too many guys. I should have, I guess, never hacked that camera. I'm guessing that's what set him up. I don't know. It's easy to get my infiltrator there, but to get that guy there, that's, man, that is going to be rough. Oh shit. Ooh, those guys didn't see me, it was close. There's no one up here right now. That is perfect. I don't even need to use my um, invisible mode. Save my energy. Thank you kindly. Phew! What's the old saying? If you want to get rich, start a religion? No kidding. These guys have a very nice chunk of petty cash lying around, or should I say they had. It's all ours now. We can spend that on a few upgrades or ammo or... Hey, speaking of that, looks like the Eternals have a few caches scattered around. In a recruitment, if, in case a recruitment drive turns ugly. I'll upload a few coordinates for you. Let's check it out and see what, we, what else we can join. Yes, let's. The admin raid paid off pretty handsomely, but let's see what else we can get out of it, huh? These supply caches are scattered, but secrecy is their only defense. None of them look hard to reach. Just a little out of the way. There should be a bunch of easy scores if you put them, if you put in the footwork to get them. Plasma minigun. Oh damn! Stuff generator mark two. Nice. Zeus Plasma Beam. That's probably a sniper rifle. Okay. There's one there. Oh, none of them are even in restricted areas. Sweet! This is going to be easy pickings. Alright, cool. And I got all types of cash, too. This does. It's got to unlock something. Maybe it's at this gate.
sweet. These guys are all leaving. No, not this guy. He turned around. Just for that, you're getting killed. No, he's going that way. All right, that's fine. He's coming over here, huh? If he does, if he goes through this gate, then I don't even need to hack this. I'll just stuff my way out while he goes through the gate. That would be... Pretty, um... There we go. Go through the gate, buddy. And I'm out. All right, let's let's hit up these uh, caches here. It's in there in the industrial district. Okay. Ah, oh, okay, I see where it is. area is not restricted so I don't really care about these cameras what manner of stuff are they stirring in there MVP Zeus plasma beam Originally de designated as a mining tool, the Zeus plasma beam weapon, previously the plasma cutter, takes a while to charge up to full power, but once it does, it produces more damage than any other weapon you will find in the battlefield. Oh, it's a heavy weapon. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. 99% accuracy. Damage 3 to 36. Oh, that I, I guess that's depending on how much you charge it. Interesting. I was kind of hoping it would be um, a sniper rifle, but that's okay. And I can't research it now because I need all nine of my scientists to do it. This plasma rifle is being researched. It's almost done. Alright, let's hit up another one. There, that should be easy. Ah, there it is. I don't know if that camera's going to appreciate me taking it, but you know what? That's what stuff is for. Generator Mark II. This I definitely want. The 
the Mark II stealth generator uses the exact same technology as the original design, which has simply been adapted to use an exposed power source that allows the system to cool as it's in use. While the Mark II is an uglier design to look at, it makes up for by being able to maintain the quantum photonic diff diffraction process for a longer period of time. So it's basically like level 2 of the cloak ability, whereas the original is just level 9. As soon as I'm done uh, research with the plasma rifle, I'll research this. Okay. I'm not one right there. Oh, nice and easy. And that's three for three. This is like taking candy from a baby, which is really the responsible thing to do now that I think about it. Man, I wish we could set up a spy camp to see the face of the next Eternals missionary who's trying to grab an emergency gun and gets a handful of air. And I got a plasma minigun, which sounds freaking badass. Oh, and a level up too. Nice. The previous model of the plasma rapid fire weapon was prone to overheating. This model, new and improved, features a second barrel on an exposed piping design that allows the release of most of the heat generated from the gun. 70% accuracy, slower rate of fire than the laser mini gun, massive damage against armor. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the laser minigun better. I mean, the plasma minigun looks freaking badass, but it does like twice as much damage and way more damage against armor. But the laser has more than double the rate of fire, so actually the damage output is similar. And it does better damage against shielded and drones. Not nearly as much against armor. So I guess it's a... It's a case of who I'm going up against. Alright, I got that done. Sooner or later, I'm going to smuggle this guy in there, but maybe I'll try again next time and not um, hack that camera. Hopefully, that doesn't set off all those guards and I have an easier time getting in there. We'll see. If not, I'll do a different mission. Get a level up. Let's see. Is there enough points to... Yes. I can get Pack Mule. Now let's get to a really beacon. And I can give him more gear. He's got proxy hacker, he's got shielding, and I can give him medium body armor. Very nice. Or her. My bad. Oh, cool. So, that worked out pretty well. We'll see what other fun there is to do with the House of the Eternals next time.